Hello everyone, my name is Webb Weaver and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. So, I am continuing to be up to something extremely wicked, and uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Uh, we continue the grind of the legendary, the legendary achievements, and for a thematic reason, we're going to be playing as Mimi. Uh, just, uh, you know, just for absolutely no reason, alright? There is zero reason why we're playing as Mimi. There is nothing about Mimi that is particular at the moment. And if you, definitely not, if you went to the painting channel on the Discord server, uh, would you find something Mimi related? Absolutely not. You wouldn't. It, I, it, it would be impossible. Not happening. Not a chance. This one was invented by a writer. Uh, so second, second enemy. That's that's what we gotta concern ourselves with: knowledge, dexterity, charisma. That's that sort of thing. Uh, so second enemy is pretty much what we need to worry about. Now the thing with Mimi is that for some reason she always gets the um, the katana. I don't know why, but I feel like that if you tallied it, like if you tallied all of the episodes where we've gotten the katana. I feel like Mimi would probably be the uh, the katana wielder most of the time. Because when I think of Mimi, I think of the katana. I really do. And the, the weird thing is... Jesus Christ, by the way. Oh my god, four? Jeez, no, man. That's that's painful. Uh, we'll do the, the mansion first, just so that we can kind of encourage uh, good vibes and happy karma uh, when it comes to... Uh, Unlocking Moriko finally after after all this time Now if we were on timeline if we were on timeline a um, That could be interesting, but we're not so it doesn't really matter um, So anyways trying to think what's new with me um, Paranormal caught on camera continues to be an absolute banger uh, they had this amazing episode where they had... <laughs> they <laughs> it was so good. It was like these two... The well, two dudes. These three dudes are walking through the forest, this haunted forest. And they're like, oh, we're going to... Th this is a witch's circle. And we're going to the exact tree where a woman had to watch her baby die by uh, evil uh, witches who wanted to, like, you know, uh, kill the baby or whatever, right? And we're going to the exact tree, dude. And this happened, like, you know, a century ago. And so it's like, how do you know it's the exact tree? That tree probably fell over and died. But, uh, you know, they're, they're like, we're going to the exact tree. And when they get to the tree, they're like, oh, dude, I think something's watching us over there. And then it's like, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, bruh, it's probably like a, a coyote or like a wolf or something. You live in like Philadelphia, some, some stupid thing like that. <laughs> Philadelphia is not stupid, but you get what I mean. It's like they're going to the exact tree where allegedly some shenanigans of, a, of an occult origin occurred. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, yeah, you know, like, maybe. But, uh, like, how, how do you know it's the exact tree? Were you there? Were you one of the evil witches who try come on, Katana? Aww. Were you, were you one of the evil... This is a curse, right? Never mind, it's, it's a bunch of EXP. The Usurper King kindly decides to share his forbidden knowledge. Well, that's nice of him. That's very polite. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like, we're going to the exact tree, bro. And so they go to the tree, and what happens is they're like, dude, I think somebody's watching. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, before I forget. It was Cultist Hunter A, we need to remember that. So, cult so Cultist Hunter A is like, if somebody's here, will you give us a sign? And then they're like... Dude, I think somebody's watching us, and then a branch moves, and they're like, oh, dude, that's crazy. I don't think it was the wind. And so they just kind of decide to, you know, they, they decide to, like, cheese it because it's the fuzz, okay? They decide to cheese it because it's the fuzz. Good, thank God for that. I'm really happy about that. That was a huge risk. And while they're walking back, 
the guy is like, yo, dude, oh. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it for the vine, dude. So it was uh, knowledge, dexterity, and charisma, right? So we put one point to dexterity. Um, that's, that's painful, though. Um, that's good, though. That's really good. I like that. We'll do Fear Festival next, I think. We don't have a flashlight, right? No, we don't. We don't have a light source. So get it out of here. Uh, we have one book. We need two more, and we're very happy. Uh, and so they're walking away from the... W <laughs> they're, they're walking away from the witch's tree, dude! Um, and one of the guys is like, Dude, is there something on my back? And... You know, he's, like, wearing a jacket or whatever, and so he pulls up the jacket, and there's just, like, uh, the, what I can describe as you're playing with your cat, and they playfully scratch you, right? Like, there's no blood, it's just, like, red. <laughs> like, it's just, it's red, and, like, that, yeah, it's, it's just red. Like, your, your cat was play clawing you. That's probably the, the best, like, it's just, like, a, a slightly, like, red claw mark, but it's, like, human fingernails dragging across his back. And then they start freaking out, and they're like, dude! And then they, like, they get out of there. <laughs> it's just, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was fantastic. Because it's like, you just know, because there was a bunch of jump cuts in it, and I don't know, like, that was probably paranormal for the purposes of, like, cutting it down. But I just, because both of those guys, like, two of the guys were off camera, and the guy who had the claw mark on his back was off camera, and there were a bunch of jump cuts. And so I just imagine, like, the main guy's at the tree, and he's like, if there's a demon here, you know, you gotta tell us. It's like being a cop. <laughs> it's like being an undercover cop. If you're a demon here, you have to tell us. Um, but yeah, no, so it's like, I just imagine, like, them going behind a tree or something, and then just one of the guys just like scratches the other and he's like ow <laughs> and then they go and meet up with the guy again and he's like dude it feels like liquid metal pouring down my back and it's just like the the weakest scratch mark you've ever seen in your life it's incredible it's great i love it uh and then there's there's a bunch of really good ones and there, there's another one where a dude is like exploring this like forest that's really scary and he's basically like just shouting into the darkness hey if you're a demon come kick my ass right and then two demons show up and start chasing him and he, he just bolts for it i love it so much oh because here's the thing man you've got to assume that most of that stuff is a hoax right because it, a lot of it is just super ridiculous, right? Like, you have somebody wandering through, like, an abandoned house saying, if you're a demon that wants to hurt me, use my energy, right? Like, use my energy to blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you hate to say it out loud because there's that, like, tiny bit in the back of your mind that's like, dude, bro, by saying this out loud, you're invoking the demons and inviting them. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's it's fantastic. Like I love paranormal so much. It's a really good show. I do miss Sean Ryder on UFOs, but you know, we uh, good we can't have you know no king rules forever. We we can't have uh, constantly good things. Um, I think you know to just kind of throw salt over my shoulder uh, to kind of make a cross for a moment. Uh, Obviously everything that I said was ironic and I do not wish to be bullied by a demon that would be Okay, now li I would like to rephrase that if we're talking Helltaker demon Then maybe Okay Maybe I rescind what I just said, but if we're talking like You know demon of Slanesh or demon of corn Yeah Prob probably a hard no from me, Chief. Uh, Demon of Zinch? Yeah, not in not into that either. I I, I, I appreciate not being a, a, a giant bird, uh, which ancient astronaut theorists might uh, push back on, admittedly. But you know, the Eye of Horus and all that. Yeah, there there is one that I really want to see. 
because it's like ancient aliens, but it's the it's the connection that the druids have to it, or the the druids. But if you know, if if you know, you know, right? <laughs> if you know, you know. In which case, I'm sorry that you have the curse. Let's go! Let's go! All right, we we we've unlocked the best girl. Now, can I get a good perk? No. So we'll we'll, we'll take this. Um, so we're gonna go up to ten eight, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, we could go up even further if we wanted to be funny. We could realistically get to twelve strength if we wanted to. Never fail a strength check again. But instead, let's get up to ten knowledge because that's fun. Uh, so we've got. Uh, we do want to use this. But not yet. Obviously, we want to get to level four or five before we can uh, before we can do that. So what do we got going on here? So it's this situation again where we deal we deal. Let me do this. Uh, where we deal, uh, we take six percent doom, and then we get like one of the best items in the game. Right? Like, I can't really... Like, I can't really complain about that. Like, I mean, what what am I supposed to say? Hold on. Also, one real quick thing. Just for fun. Just to keep it spicy. Okay. So, Spiral Hood, one of the best items in the game. Obviously, it's very good. Perception is an awful stat, unless you're playing Moriko. And if you're playing Moriko... You put two points into perception, maybe three if you're feeling cheeky, or you put two points into perception and have a flashlight, uh, and then you use the spiral hoodie anyways because deft handling will carry you pretty hard. But uh, yeah, no, the the spiral hoodie is just fantastic. Like plus two strength is, like plus two strength on its own is just so good. But you you really can't understate how good, like plus two like you really can't understate how good plus four stat is for like minus two of like one of the worst stats in the game right like it's probably better than minus two charisma but i can't i don't know like when if you asked me which the what the worst stats in world of horror were i would probably either say charisma or perception depending on what day you asked me right like if you asked me on one day, I would say charisma. If you asked me on the other day, I would say perception. Today, I'm probably going to say char charisma's the better stat because it actually has a lighthouse check, if that makes sense, right? So, like, for perception, there is no lighthouse threshold check, right? So, charisma does have that, though. So leveling up Charisma can actually give you a guaranteed benefit, while leveling up Perception does not. Although, again, right, like, it's not entirely bad either, because by leveling up, um, you know, by leveling up Perception, it has the second most skill checks in the game, I think. And I can think of, like, the police officer event, where it's, like, the crashed meteorite. That's either a luck check or a Perception check. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, Webb, why don't you think? Why don't you say luck is the worst stat in the game? I I think there there's a very good reason for that. Okay, there there's a very I, there's a va there's a very valid reason for it. All right, the reason why is because when you may like luck checks are designed to be a 50-50. They aren't in Harbinger of Doom, but they're designed to be that way, right? So. When you get a luck check, it's usually very, very strong for you, right? Like, when you... Like, luck checks can give you a bunch of money. They can give you a bunch of money. <laughs> the two things that I can think of is destroy the shrine and dig through the sand for the money. Like, the far right option for uh, the desert eldritch otherworld. Um... And so it's like, you know, I, but here's the thing. You could also say that perception has a chance of getting you the katana, right? And so I feel like on that hand, you could say, oh yeah, well, duh, perception is probably way better than charisma, but 
yeah, anyways, I, I think it's an interesting conversation to have because when you have, like, each stat has something really good with it. Like, charisma makes it to where when you get that odd skill check that will give you an ally if you succeed it, you have a much higher chance of uh, making that happen. Um, well, something like perception, uh, if you're Moriko, it's your best stat and you want to power level it to like eight or nine and then get deft handling and then you're good for the rest of the game. Uh, if you're using the spiral hoodie, probably like seven or eight perception is what you want to aim for. Like eight perception with deft handling is like what you need. Um, just from, like, not from a statistical math perspective, but just, like, as a gamer who's played this game a lot, I can tell you, like, that's what I want when I'm playing Moriko. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll finish it off here. We still don't have roads closed, so this is the objectively correct choice. Uh, it's also possible to get Moriko multiple times. We, we, it's happened before. You, you might think that's insane, but it has. It genuinely has happened before. Uh, so, you know, if we can get another 10 EXP from the perk, that would make it quite nice. But, uh, you know, luck checks, they're pretty strong when you make them, and there are a bunch of items that let you stack luck. Like, the lucky earrings are literally, like, plus two luck, right? So, yeah, no, I, I think that overall, uh, luck has a, has a possibility of being really strong. Um... And then as far as things like Charisma is concerned, if you want allies without having to go to Fear Festival, you need Charisma. Um, speaking of which, we could get approximately one ally guaranteed, but like, it's a, a very strong strategy, but you don't need it most of the time. That's lucky, by the way. That's really lucky. Um, you know, like, if you're playing Mizuki, you basically have to do the ally grind because you want the... It's 4% for each ally, right? So it's 12%. You get 3% less attack speed than the others. But uh, what if we just stacked more damage? Haha. <laughs> uh, probably, eh, you know, we're already snowballing. I don't think it matters. We haven't even cured Frostbite, by the way. Like, I want to make that clear. Like, if we wanted to, we could have 10 strength right now, which is hilarious. And I think we will, because we have so much Doom to play around with that we can literally just go like, haha, Frostbite, go away. Um, and then for, for okay, so Charisma uh, helps you with the odd ally uh, skill check, which is very useful if you get it, if you get it. Uh, if you don't have any allies, then eight charisma can get you three of them guaranteed, uh, which is very useful, especially if you're playing someone with fame, which is mostly Mizuki, but you never know for the other characters, uh, on all perks anyways. Um, Perception has the second most skill checks in the game. Other than that, it's pretty useless because it doesn't have a lighthouse threshold and it doesn't really, like, it doesn't really do anything outside of that. Okay, like, that that's what I mean, is that unless you're playing Moriko, Perception doesn't really do anything, aside from skill checks, and on Harbinger of Doom, you can't rely on skill checks. You want to know why you can't rely on skill checks? Because of the minus two, which is technically a plus two, but you know what I mean, modifier. So we can do 20 damage pretty reliably here, which is pretty nice. I mean, I'm not even gonna say that that's, I mean, that, that's great. Like, I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, so we'll, we'll just do this, hopefully hit twice, and then we'll see about what we can do here. So we can do, we should just be able to do this, right? And she's dead. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I think we'll go ahead and put on the, the spiral hoodie, because we're gonna level up again. Uh, at this rate, so we might as well just have good combat for the rest of the game. We don't really need it because our combat is already amazing, but if we... I mean, you know, like, that's the weird thing, right? The game doesn't really go on long enough, and by the way, book check. Uh, we've only got one book, so... Unfortunate, but true. Uh, we could try to grind for books, but you can't buy them, right? So, like, how do you get books? You, you go to the school multiple times. Like, that's what you do. We'll, we'll go there a couple times just for fun. Um, take a detour. Never mind, we won't. Um, 
Because, like, here's the thing. We, we can get... Uh, it's Yashiro, right? Like, I never remember. Um, okay. Aura free cast. Let's go. So, yeah. Let's just do it, dude. Hey, but it's max threat level, man. Like, the, the best place to get books is literally the school, if you can believe it. Uh, yeah, we'll just do this. Two 95% chances to go wrong. Nothing. L right, like, the, the best place to get books is the school and the mansion, which I don't really want to go to the mansion. But we could. The mansion has a lowish threat level, so... It's not a huge deal? But yeah, we, we have, um... I mean, we'll, we'll go to the mansion a couple times. Like, we did get a single book, and there was a book that... Actually, we could have gotten the three books, right? Because we burned a book, and then we were at the library. Was Is that right? Oh, no. I know we could have gotten at least two books. So maybe, just maybe, uh, your boy did an oopsie. But there's, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes people... People make mistakes. And uh, by that, what I mean is, uh, haha, scalpel goes slice. Um, hmm. This is kind of awkward. This is an awkward damage level to be at. I'm gonna throw something, I think, because I want this fight to be over with. I want him to be done and or dusted. Okay, we can't do that, so we have to do this. Uh, true, uh, unfortunate, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, let's just get out of here. I, I think that's probably a, a fair assessment. And we'll just use the book, why not? Because we're, we're not gonna get anything after this, so. We, we might as well use it, and we might as well take the kendo helmet. And we might as well use the painkiller, and then we might as well grab the compass, because then we can throw the, the compass. Now, we want to level up before the boss, preferably. Um... I don't even want to look at this. I, I don't even want to see this. I don't even want to comprehend what just happened here. Jesus Christ. I mean, listen, that... I, you know what we were talking about earlier? How skill checks are unreliable? <laughs> you're, uh, you're gosh darn right they are. Um, skill checks are, are not very good, just in general. So th this is at least pretty nice. We can do 14 damage a turn. Uh, and we can throw the Kendo Helmet, because it doesn't really matter. Actually, can we just kill? Like, can, can we just flat out kill? He swings his axe menacingly. So, theoretically, yes, we can. You feeling lucky, punk? I just realized that if he had the flavor text of winds up his axe, we would have actually died. And that would have been uh, what we call a tragedy. I cannot believe, I cannot believe what just, I cannot believe that knowledge check, man. That was disgusting. That was disgusting. I, I think that anybody could probably like honestly say that that was a completely disgusting thing that happened. Oh look, contaminated water, we can't use it. So, the second enemy, Cultist Hunter A, I remember. And I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at the lighthouse. I don't need to. I don't need to. We've got eight in all of our stats that are that matter for the lighthouse, so the skill checks don't matter. We don't have a light source, so boo-hoo. Uh, and even if we got this wrong, it doesn't matter either. Uh, even after the disgusting plus five percent doom knowledge check. Uh, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Goodbye. So we'll just go ahead and throw that at him, which is pretty funny. And, uh, then we'll just do this, which is 28 damage. You know, you, you can't really complain about that. We somehow got to level 7, um, which is not something that I was expecting, to, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be real with you, I, I wasn't expect- we, do we have folklore studies? We do, right? We wouldn't have 12 knowledge without it. I was hoping we could get to 14 knowledge, but, but alas. Dear Yorick. And this is correct. We went to the we went to the right lighthouse this time. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ed Webweaver, and I will see you on the next episode of Worlds of Horror. Um, so yeah, thanks. Have a good one. Bye.